there's a number here so they match there's a bump here or a sign here that goes towards the front and that's it okay nothing here nothing on this side match of course a notch and they are brand new so they're kind of stiffer Oops, oops, wrong one. Five foot pound of torque or about who cares so we'll do the same for the uh, each, each uh, three remaining it's as simple as that Right away you can feel there's less movement than the old one, but that's kind of normal. Bump, number, number. Push. The push from the torque. No, just like that at first. Go. Last one. <clears throat> of course, when the phone rang or somebody come and you're doing such a job, it did happen to me once in my life that I forgot. A bearing set on one rod so I have none left here but I just make sure you know because you will fill the gap I mean the loose so they're all tightened and that's finished for them by the way this this engine is not old it didn't need nothing no work no machining to the crank um, it was just full of um, brown uh, mix of oil and, and coolant uh, to the point that it, it had to be clean so for 100 bucks, not even, you get full set of bearing for the, cr the crankshaft and uh, I mean the rod and the, sh uh, and the case. So we'll do the case next. So this engine is, has uh, been washed. Um, this is what I use if there's remain remaining like little crap or something. Um, so, next step is to put the, the bearing, of course. Um, this is a, has been cleaned again and again with brake cleaner. and So, that's the only special bearing you got with the side is the one towards the, um, towards the, um, the flywheel or whatever, the back of the engine, okay? And anyway, it won't fit anywhere else except here. Again, you gotta align those little notch here. Push it nicely. You got two of the same, two of the same. So two, two smaller one here and two bigger one here. Okay. So again, push them nicely. Nicely, so small notch, nicely, 
One less. That's it. Now we'll need oil. I prefer put oil on the crank because I'm going to put some sealant here. And the one I'm using is called the Right Stuff. And that's the only product I have in my shop since since it exists. It's the best thing you can buy. Expensive, but it's the best. We also have four O-ring. You forget one, you blew, you engine is going to blow up. Okay? Those are right, new. Whatever, you can buy some new one if you wish. So you got some four, bang, done. Five left, in case, you know, one, two, three, four, five. What else? Nothing. Now we're going to apply the right stuff. The manual says um, don't put any here. The principle of putting some here on those boats, I will explain later because some of the boat have some sealing special flat washer with, with some rubber on it. Okay? This is because you don't want coolant into the oil, so whatever you decide to do, you can put some new washer or um, I so hate gloves, I don't know why I put a glove. Shit. Yeah. So you just apply a tin coat. That's it, that's all. Basically all around and if you wish around those holes. Um, I will do it and just show you later. Um, just a small amount. You, you don't have to go here. I don't know why I'm going here, but whatever. You can see um, there's a little amount on the o ring, not much. There's a little bit around those boats, all around. That's it. Clean your finger. Oil. The thing with the right stuff, that product, it doesn't like oil at all, so try not to put some. Okay, that's it. And those one, two, this one needs to go up. Time to put the bearing on the other side of the case and put the case together. So I got the bearing in. I'm gonna double clean. I got some a little bit of oil here, not too much. And two rod eye up. You don't need to put oil right now here or whatever. You don't need to take the case. The bearing will all fall uh, aligned. Ah. It's good that it's not getting in easy because the dowel are uh, very stiff. Well, this one at least. Okay. There's 18 bolts. They're all there. I know you cannot see them. Okay, but that's the boat with the plug and stuff. When you, oops. Some of the boat that goes inside the water jacket have a thicker washer with a rubber in it. Okay. There's two smaller ones with normal washer because they go outside. 
Same goes for the two long one with normal uh, washer. They go outside and the back on the other side, okay? Some people, people say just replace those. I don't believe in that because of the sealant I put. Some people put oil. I would put grease. <laughs> anyway, I won't put, you know, you could, I guess, put a little oil like they say for the rubber. You can do that on all boat, okay? So now we're gonna do the, well, that's the driver's side here. Whatever you choose. Um, you can put all your boat and just use, uh, what I do, I use my electric uh, 5A at low, this one is nice, it's, it's got the medium and low torque, so I just put it at low torque, so. And torque, that's another thing. When you are metal or metal like that, don't go crazy with torque. I mean, this has nothing to do with the head gasket because you have a, 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 a gasket in between the two, so there's a difference. Um, so we'll just put all the boat and um, this one goes inside here, the small one, where the oil pan is. You got a longer one, all the rest here are the same. They go, on, uh, I think the long one goes in the back, I'm not sure. Uh, they all go uh, on the top here, okay? So we began with, we're going to begin with the one inside with those little uh, ring, okay? So you can just like, uh, on this side there's only two, okay? And I'm going to put the two small one here on the outside of the case. And the other six, they're going to go on the other side, okay? Yeah, that's kind of funny. Yeah, you should put a little bit of oil on the tread also. I forgot. But that's not the end of the world. So, I'm going to do those around. Like, all that. You're not supposed to, you're supposed to do the big one, but who cares? Oh, that's the long one that goes at the ear. No, I don't remember. This one goes, uh, oh yeah, here. Yeah. So they're all the same on top. There. And I'm missing one. There it goes. On the back, I think. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah, it goes in the back. So I'll just torque them. That's the small 10 millimeter one, or whatever you want to call it, okay, inside here. And the longer one, one of the long one, will be inside the back here, okay? You begin with the um, passenger side of the engine. This is the front. Uh, sorry, driver side. Okay, the side that has two inside and two outside, and you gotta adjust that to about 11 foot pound. Sorry. So on this side you begin with the whatever top or bottom one, center, you're going to have six here, two here and uh, two inside here, okay? So you begin here, bottom one, so the manual of Subaru says we're back on the um, pack, uh, driver's side. Uh, we have four. And the manual says another 90 degree each, okay? And that will end up at about, I think, 55 to 60 foot pound, whatever you.
so we're done with the piston and stuff. We need to put back the plug here for the, um, the piston pin location. Same in the back. So you got four of those. Make sure you got the ceiling, ceiling uh, washer and ring. Clean uh, oil pump surface. Uh, same for the water pump. Put the new seal right now since it, it's out. Um, now we're going to apply some right stuff. I said again. Best thing. So, I've applied a very, very light and thin coat of uh, right stuff, even removing it from inside here as much as you can. Don't forget the O-ring here, that's the oil pressure O-ring. This is the return and, uh, and this, I mean, this is the, the oil coming back to the pump and that's the O-ring. You cannot see it because there's light little coat of right stuff. Don't forget that O-ring, it cost me an engine once. Clean, no oil. And by the way, don't put the seal right now because sometimes you're gonna wiggle like that and it's gonna, and the spring inside the seal can come out. So, a little spring here. So, it's better after. There's a few things about, uh, first of all, the seal here. Try to use um, Subaru OEM. There's some difference. Um, uh, the spring inside is not, is not all held by the same way, so whatever. And put some, a little grease when you do it. Water pump. Try to use, again, original uh, Subaru seal. A jobber seal will look something more like like that here, more like a paper one. Uh, it's not the end of the world, but I mean, okay. Pump. A lot of people says that kind of impeller and that kind of impeller is like OEM and jobber. That's not true. This is out from a 2010 Impreza engine. Uh, low mile, but the, the, the engine was broke. This is an OEM, Japan, Japan. It's a question, it's a question of year. Very important. So there's not much here. Uh, just clean the whole thing. This was not dirty. And you put your gasket in all screw. Thermostat. Uh, um, this is an original one. 82 degree, that's the one I like. They made some 87 or 8, and even 90 degree, I don't like them. This is a cheaper one, made by Stant. Stant make two, they make a cheaper like that and they make a new OEM like that. This is a Subaru one, but the Stant OEM is fine. There's two kind of water pump, earlier engine, they had the thermostat like that. And you see this one will go like that. It doesn't change uh, much at all, it's just the way, uh, it doesn't change anything. Um, just saying that the earlier one, were, you can use both on any, I like the, I like the older one because the, it's easier to access on the, by the bottom and this one is more difficult, uh, especially that I do Subaru uh, conversion in a Westphalia Vanagon, so um, just saying. So again, I'm using a little bit of, well, and that little bypass is going, of course, in this case here. Voila, those crank sensor, since we're here, this one was hard to remove and I just put some grease. So in the case of one day 
they're, they're stuck to a point that sometimes you need to remove the old timing system to get to push this one out. And even then they may break, so they wait. So if you can get it out and put some grease, I mean, if you ever have a problem, it's, they're more easy to remove because they, they go from the top, you know. Uh, so this is done um, as to the short block. Um, a few things that I didn't speak of is the, I think, I'm not sure anyway. Piston, first of all, they have two notch. This is kind of heavy now, but they have, they have those two here. This is towards always the, um, uh, the front of the engine, okay? Another thing is that, I, if you can see, normally here there's letter, okay? It's hard to see, so I wrote it. A, B, A, B, in that case, is it's that. It could be B, 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 A. This relates to the size of your piston. Yes, there's kind of two different sizes. The letter, you can see it, you cannot see it on the video, but it's, it's, it's stamped it on the piston. So, it, 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 and also, it, it will match the letter. So if B is there, this is a B, A, same on the other side. In, in this case, it's A, B, A, B, okay? Uh, also, there's number stamped on the case that, you know, just, you can write your, your own, uh, you can write your piston, um, uh, uh, number I mean this is like I think in this side is two and four and one and two and one and three um, whatever also I didn't speak about the ring position but this is kind of standard even if I have my own theory about that um, the ring uh, should be like you know every divide by three um, also when you put the plug for the piston uh, pin, carefully check if your um, your C clip is really into the groove. Um, that's about it. So I'll do another video about the oil pan. It's different in my case. I'm gonna explain some stuff. I know it's just an oil pan, but you'll get that. Um, um, mine in my case will have. Um, modified oil pickup and a flat bottom pan compared to if you're doing a stock engine um, and i have a lot to say about that and why not do the head gasket and i think just for fun i'll do also the uh, timing because i have also <laughs> i did argue with a lot of people about the timing so that's it for today thank you